Yeah, the, the mantlet's very thick as well. So if that is the man of war, that's probably not going to care even about our mantlet thickness. So, oh, never mind. I tell a lie. And our friend has gone through the side of his turret. I will happily take that one. This thing is a beast of a tank. Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be designing a medium tank of some variety, which is going to uh, take on all of the World War II-ish scenarios apart from late war. So we're going to go through from interwar through to uh, mid-war and hopefully finish all of those. And then uh, via developing the medium tank, we'll have created a couple of versions of it and then we're going to be able to hopefully, in another video, create different variations of this same tank. So hopefully this will be a little multiple episode thing if if all things go well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, without any further ado, I'll get to designing this thing and uh, being a voiceover rather than being live. See you in a minute. Hello everyone, post commentary Will here, and welcome to the post commentary bit. Yeah, so, well, we'll start off with the important announcement, which is I now have a Discord. So, that will be in the description below if you want to join that. There's currently about 25 members, so if you want to hop in there, make that a couple more than 25, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and in there, you can expect to share tank designs, mostly, um, and just chat with other people. Uh, not a crazy amount of stuff going on in there yet, but uh, as I come up with some more ideas of what to do with the space and you know how to interact with you guys a little bit more, then I'm sure we'll host a couple of events here and there, uh, if I can work out what to do. And uh, also, it'll be a slightly easier way of me getting uh, suggestions for videos rather than using a community poll. So uh, all of that and more, hopefully, in the future on my Discord. Link in the description about the tank now. Uh, we'll return to the video. Yes, this thing was meant to be a medium tank, kind of inspired a bit by the Turan, uh, the Hungarian I think it is, uh, tank with like the the commanders have this like elevated bit. I think the Panzer One actually had a somewhat similar design. If, if I'm remembering my tanks correctly, I, I didn't have any reference images up for this one. It was just entirely what was in my head, what I wanted to do. And um, it kind of turned out more of a light tank, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, it's a bit too light to be a medium tank. Uh, I think this initial design turned out just under 13 tons, so that is small. Um, as opposed to what I kind of wanted, which was more around the 20 to 25 ton mark, probably. Um, but, you know, again, that might have been on the heavy side for a medium tank, but... Um, at least in this game, uh, maybe not in real life, but at least, at least of my designs. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's got a medium tank gun. It starts off with a short 75 in this initial scenario, so that's what you'll. Uh, well, actually, what you see at the moment is a long 57, which I was originally toying around with, but it just didn't quite feel right. Um, also, the excessive riveting. Um, oh God, you gotta love rivets. <laughs> Everyone loves them. We, we all love them, we all hate them, um, well the crews hate them, uh, the designers love them because they're cheap, uh, but it's fine, uh, little bits of metal flying around the tank and panels falling off isn't a huge issue, right? So yeah, thumbs up from that one. Uh, also really struggled to get the um, driver and machine gunner, uh, like cup cuplas? Um, hatches, that's the word, uh, to, to actually fit in underneath the turret because this turret takes up quite a lot of that top space uh, it's quite a like wide but flat turret um, so it's quite chunky uh, and here I wasn't hugely happy with the side profile of the turret so you can see me completely changing all the riveting which can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes <laughs> especially if you put the rivets on before you change the hull and little examples of me forgetting uh, to turn on the mirroring. My cat just jumped in through the window and made a very loud noise. I don't think you will have heard that, but you might have. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished thing here. Uh, there's a little bit of tweaking to suspension and gearing and all that, but uh, yeah, in the end, uh, this is about what it looks like. So I'm pretty happy with it, to be entirely honest, and I hope you are too, because you're about to see this thing in action. Yeah. Okay, so we've wound up here somehow, 
and uh well what's happened is it's gone from a uh medium tank to kind of a light tank to be honest i didn't expect it to come out at 12 tons uh, if i'm being entirely honest uh, but it has so we've got a stubby 75 on a tiny little 12 ton chassis and i don't know how it's gonna work it's been a while it has been a little while um i will admit and uh frankly uh, this could either be great or completely awful, depending on how it's done. The armor isn't even that thin, I didn't think, uh, especially for the fact that it's currently an interwar. Um, but obviously, we'll uh, we'll give it some better armor, maybe, um, and definitely a better gun as we move on to later stages. But I've never driven this for before, so let's see how awful it is. Uh, and have a shot at this scenario. So at the moment it's got a hand crank turret, so it's not particularly eloquent, but uh, in the good old spirit of things, we'll give it the old country try. And, uh, well, the gun's bloody good, isn't it? <laughs> that does the job right there. Yep. Oh, I've missed. Yeah, okay. Well, the gun does the job. I don't. There we go. Um... Don't know what my AI are doing. They're getting a little bit confused, bless them. Um, that's gone well, hasn't it? They're, they're pretty much all dead. I imagine there's one on the left-hand side somewhere. There seems to be something up on the hill over there. Is that... That's one I've killed already, isn't it? Yeah, I killed him. I remember that. Uh, I think... Ah, there you are. I thought there'd be someone else on the left-hand side. And I was correct in my assumption... Uh, perhaps over there as well? No? I'll have that. Uh, ah, RPMs. Yeah, those are bad. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix those. Otherwise I won't be able to make it to the end. My engine will just explode, which I imagine these guys have already had. No, they seem fine, actually. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to fix the RPM. And then give this one another quick try. Okay, so, upgrades made. We've got a slightly softer suspension, because I did also notice it's wibbling quite a lot now that I've fixed the RPMs. And it is still wibbling a fair amount. Um, wibbling, obviously, being the professional term for this uh, description. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that won't be too much of a problem going forward, otherwise we may have to make some pretty significant suspension changes. Um, she's not great at turning, which is a bit of a problem, but that's kind of to be expected from a tank of this era, and the armour is doing a thoroughly impressive job, to be entirely honest. Um, the lower glacis is just awful. Um, as kind of to be expected. So if they hit there, we're probably balked. But other than that, we could be okay here. Uh, and I think that's the big boss tank at the end of the level there. They've hurt our driver with a good shot through the presumably lower plate. But um, I don't know if we're going to penetrate him from this distance. No. Okay. Oh, what happened there? We've lost a track. That's fine. We got more where that came from. Uh, this one's had its engine significantly damaged. Uh, but I think it's just the guy over there who's a threat now. And um, my road wheels are a little bit wide. That's fine. We can always fix that later. We are struggling to get up that hill. Uh thought we'd be able to do it there, but uh, perhaps not. We do have thin little tracks. They're not exactly the uh, best for climbing. We're just going to have to charge him. <laughs> Come on, show it. Show it? What does that even mean? I don't know. Let's keep moving. Oh, the gunner's wounded. Oh, there we go. Lower plate. Lower plate did it. <laughs> Ooh, and a floating shell. Just for you. Lovely. Right. That 
was a success. Uh, maybe not an un unmatched success, but definitely a success. So let's uh, take this thing to the desert and see how it does there. All right, in the desert we are. We got seven of these things now, so that's we're packing some firepower in this uh, in this little armada of wobbly little tanks. Um, don't know why it's so wobbly, to be entirely honest. I'm not the best at designing things in this game all the time, so you know we'll just we'll just say it's it's a wobbly tank. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's wobbly like my cat. So really, what is the problem with that? If anything's like my cat, then I'm bound to enjoy it, right? And I'm allowed to enjoy these things. <laughs> Ugh, I'm going I'm going mad. We're in the desert. It's boiling hot, both in my room and in the desert, probably. Probably more so in the desert. I will level with you. I know it's like we are in kind of a heat wave, but like, you know, maybe not quite, you know, the desert kind of level. We'll, 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 we'll at least... We won't stoop to that level of... Uh, of sympathy. Um, <laughs> oh, but yeah, okay, right. Stop talking and focus, because there are going to be lots of enemy tanks any second now. And if we can make it up this hill, we'll uh, be attempting to help our friends in taking them out, uh, which we can't do, because... don't know, these tracks aren't getting a huge amount of traction up here. There we go. We got it. We got it in the end. Got it in the end. Now we can start providing fire support. Yes! Boom! One down. And... Two down. Swell. We'll keep moving. We'll keep moving. There's one of them tank destroyer things. Probably not going to go through the front of that, but we will go through the front of that little STRV over there. Pop another one down range. Nowhere near bobbling like absolutely crazy but that's fine we can still aim uh, if inaccurately um <laughs> it's fine don't worry about it just don't don't think too hard about the consequences of this suspension and all will be well in the world um Look at the cool turrets wow look that's an interesting turret design isn't it ignore the suspension uh <laughs> Whatever you do, don't think about the suspension. I'm gonna have to chank, chank. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna chank the tank. Um, chank the tank and then shoot it. Uh, I'm trying to get the turret aimed on this guy, but it does not want to go where I want to aim it. There we go. Finally, taking him out, and we got this little French tank destroyer thing. No luck on the front plate, as predicted. Lower plate, no, nothing. However, he cannot turn very well. And we're very fast, so a shot on the side. We'll do one of those in. Uh, now let's get the front armor facing them, because I don't think even the front armor is going to be thick enough. The side armor definitely won't be. Oh, there goes the commander and driver. They're both wounded. We've lost the commander and the driver now. Uh, are there any weak spots on the front of that thing? Because we can't move. Uh I don't think there are, you know. Uh, and we are wobbling. So let's go get a friend. And hopefully that slightly disabled tank will uh, prove as good a distraction as any. Um, don't know what the AI are doing with this thing, but they're not doing great things. There's a living tank destroyer back there, I think, so we'll come back for him at some point soon. Uh, is that STRV alive as well? Maybe we should take him out on the way if he is. Uh, otherwise, could be a threat aiming at me. I don't know if that's just coincidence or if they are genuinely still operational in that thing. Either way, we'll close the distance because uh, wobbly or not, moving and firing is difficult. There we go. They're definitely dead. Um, there's that tank destroyer and there's our distraction who wasn't distracting him but now seems to be uh, and they may bite the bullet here, but uh, we're more than happy to capitalise on our original tank's uh, demise, because morals are not a winning man's thing to have. Uh, <laughs> take that one to your uh, business economics class. Oh my gosh, right, no luck on the side armour there. Try the top part of the side armour, there we go, yep. That one's gone through, and we 
still have that tank destroyer we spotted all the way over there to deal with. Um, so let's head over, see if we can dispatch that one. Sorry, original driver and commander, you are dead. Um, not a lot I can do about that one. We'll come back and save the survivors in a minute. I swear. We won't. But, uh, you know, we say that to keep morale high in trying times. But, uh, you know, don't dwell on the past. That That's that's something you've got to make sure you don't do during wartime. Because if you dwell on the past, well, you'll be stuck with a short 75 gun until you fight in the Tiger, really, won't you? Uh, there is our target. Can they handle this amount of speed uh well their frontal armor surely can so let's try not missing there we go desert done we have done the desert and now we're going to move on to the early war period it will be and uh probably upgrade the gun and maybe the armor uh but we will see what we need to succeed what a great ride Okay, welcome to the part of the video where I crank the contrast and brightness up. We now have the Mark II E. So, this thing has a long 75 as opposed to a short 75, which you might just about be able to see in the darkness there, as well as slightly improved frontal armor. Other than that, I, I've not changed anything. So, uh, we're kind of shooting in the dark here, but um tis, uh, to see if this one will work still got to fix that suspension bouncing issue uh, now I will be entirely honest with the Sun glaring through the window and my screen bouncing like this it makes it quite hard to see any anti-tank guns on the horizon is that one nope don't think so uh, can't for the life of oh hang on it's over there somewhere I think uh, I saw it shoot something there it is. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this suspension bouncing. This is real bad. Uh, but there we go. That's one anti-tank gun down. Oh, yeah, I also Im improved the turret traverse speed. That's something else I touched. Uh, where is this anti-tank gun? There. There we go. Shot in the dark, but we got it. And... Now it's just the Allen to go, because one of our AIs took out the anti-tank gun by the side of the building earlier. Don't know if you um, caught that one, but that has occurred. There's one dead tank here, as far as I'm aware. Don't, don't know exactly which one, but our mobility seems pretty decent here, actually. Uh, we're getting some reasonable pace up. On, uh, on even this map, where the uh, traction is not fantastic. Uh, however, I don't think we're going to ever bust through the front of Allen. Uh, I just don't think that's going to happen. And we're not going to have enough armour to bounce off him. So, we'll try a shot or two into the front, but I don't think that's going to go anywhere. No. So let's try mobility instead, because that's something we do have bucket loads of okay we went through somewhere uh, I think that was the lower glacis that we hit um, and I'll have that that was a great showing from a slightly upgraded tank uh, not a lot has been done to this so in the next one I'll see if I can work out the problems with suspension bouncing and then see if we can win the railroad scenario so I'll see you there Okay, suspension bouncing should be resolved, and we've got a veritable line of tanks here. So we're going to be taking on the railroad scenario in this nippy little light medium, I guess. Um, it's got a medium tank gun, but it's light tank, uh, light tank weight. Probably more medium tank speed, if I'm being entirely honest. I don't know, it's fast, but it's not super fast. You know, it's, it's not going to break any ground speed records for tanks. Let, let's put it out there right now um now am i bad oh god at seeing things or are there just not many tanks over here looks like i'm just bad at seeing things because we very nearly uh died there that 
could have been bad, but we did survive. Bounced a couple shots, because only a slight improvement of armor. I put 5mm extra on most of the front, but uh, not the entire front. The lower glaze is still exactly the same. Side armor is still exactly the same. Uh, so any kind of angle that they hit is, is probably going to go through. The front is the only place where we really stand any chance of bouncing anything. We're not completely awful angling, but uh, yeah, the, the mantlet's very thick as well. So that is the Man of War. That's probably not going to care even about our mantlet thickness. So, oh, never mind. I tell a lie and our friend has gone through the side of his turret. I will happily take that one. This thing is a beast of a tank um so we will uh, run a, a quick victory lap around the man of war which normally causes us so much trouble and uh you know take out his engine a bit more maybe oh mock him mock him for all the things he's done to me in the past you bastard but uh, anyway well uh, <laughs> once the now that's out of my system let's go to the next mission <laughs> Alrighty, we've got a very, very big 75mm gun, some bolted on pieces of armour on the front, but no extra actual plate thickness because I couldn't really fit it in, and now we've got to try and take on a King Tiger somehow. So we've got a little bit of a better engine, which allows us to go a little bit quicker, uh, not because I've increased the size, just because of the era that I'm in, uh, and... Not enough penetration to ever go through the front of one of those things. So we are entirely relying on speed and maybe, just maybe, being able to bounce the odd shot. Because we do have these weird metal plates bolted to the front of our tank, which I'd love to show you in more detail. But the lighting in this scene is quite dark. So we'll, we'll take it to the um, editor after this if we succeed and uh, have a quick look at this thing, because I think it looks kind of neat with its uh, applique. Applique, is that the word? That's not the word, is it? Um, but, as you can see... <laughs> it's enough! We did it in one! What a monster of a little tank. So, this has been... Uh, I don't think there's another late war scenario. There might be, actually. Or is this, this is mid-war, isn't it? Um... Hang on, let's have a look. Oh no. No, no, there is another. There's another. Okay. Uh, I am sorely mistaken. This is also a scenario we must defeat under my own rules. So, uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, this thing might struggle against numbers. We we definitely had the numerical advantage against the tiger, but we're not going to have quite as much of a numerical advantage in this scenario. So, it could be interesting how we do here, but we still have a lot of speed and we still have a fairly nice gun. So anything with not a huge amount of armor, which quite a few of the designs that you do face here, then they're, they're not hugely armored. So... We might get lucky, uh, and hopefully our AIs are sharpshooting like they have been in the last couple scenarios. So, um, we'll see how it does. Um, a little bit apprehensive about, um, about this thing's performance, but hopefully that is not warranted. Uh, now, I seem to recall... Enemy spawning a lot closer than this. So I'm wondering where they are. There they are, on the right hand side. We are taking shots from that thing. That's quite lightly armoured, if I remember rightly. Let's try and return fire. Boom, got it. Uh, and there should be a couple more over that hill that I saw as well. There's another one, the exact same tank that we just killed. Hopefully we can repeat that. Yes, that's another kill. That one's alive. We're going to wait for our reload, which is a little bit longer now. Uh, and another shot from the 75. Another kill. Things are going well, but we've got another one over here to kill. And wait for the reload. Ooh, we've lost a track. Okay, so we're going to have to swap to another vehicle, but this one's definitely still got shots available for now. And there's a second one of these halibars, uh, or however you want to pronounce that. Um... We will kill the further back one. That one's just been killed by a teammate, and that one's gone as well. What have we still got to kill? Uh, there's going to be something out there. That's only about half the enemies, so let's move to a tank that can still move. That guy can uh, be AI-controlled if he's acting as a turret, and um, 
let's see if we can find these last six or so enemies, I think it is. Uh, with that many enemies left, you've only got to assume that they're more of the same, more of these light-ish uh, Halibar tanks, which do seem capable of bouncing shots, but somehow we seem to be bouncing more um, with just uh, I think it's about 70 millimeters of frontal armor effective uh, so it's, it's not like I've got particularly thick frontal armor but yeah I'll take it um, if they're bouncing off they're bouncing off Tiger 1 been killed by one of our uh, 2Ls let's see where the rest of the enemies are I can see some on the left over there that's a friendly um, maybe another Tiger L or two uh, that, that would explain why they've taken a little bit longer to get to the battle which is obviously a lot larger now since I last took this one on yep that's another Tiger 1 don't know if we're going to have the armour to block that thing not in a million years and we don't have the gun depression to actually get a shot so let's just bail out before he gets a second shot because that first one was worryingly accurate Another tiger's been taken out. Not sure which or where that was. Ah, well, I'm guessing that plume of fire may be something to do with it. And another one gone. AI's just doing all the work for me today. Got no content for you guys, sorry. This tank's too good. The AI knows how, knows how to drive it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see if we can find this uh, last tiger, I think it is. Maybe the penultimate. May not be the final one. But uh, we will try and sneak up over this crest oh gosh he is there he knows we're here he's got his gun aimed we don't have our gun aimed yet oh there we go okay that is the front armor but we might be able to penetrate if it's got the realistic armor profile of the tiger one it's only got about 102 millimeters of armor uh, on the front and we should be able to go through that okay there we go there goes that tank let's get our way back to the tiger um no good there i think we've got about 130 millimeters of penetration so in theory we shouldn't have too much trouble going through a tiger but uh, it did not go through there don't know if that was my shooting or if that was just some bad luck on this cannon's behalf uh, maybe i had aphe loaded actually didn't think i did but uh definitely a possibility um See if we can find this guy. Don't entirely know where I'm looking. I think my destroyed tank is on the right there. Is that the tiger at the bottom there? I think it might be, you know. Uh, uh, let's slow down a bit and just try and get the gun somewhat controlled. He's there. He doesn't have his turret aimed at me. Oh, we shouldn't have wasted that first shot. We've got a side shot, though, and that will do it. We've done it. We've done the uh, mid-war scenarios. Um, We'll give a shot at a late war. I don't think it'll go well, but we'll give it a shot. We've come, we've come this far. <laughs> okay, here we are in the snow, and I've done very few changes here. This is essentially the exact same tank as took on the uh, mid-war scenarios a second ago, so chances are we're going to struggle because we don't have a huge amount of armor and we don't have a huge amount of firepower frankly uh but there goes a spiliot and we've been rammed from behind which has wounded all of our crew so that's nice of our friendlies um and this tree is causing us some havoc uh not great not a great start frankly uh we've got a couple of enemies over there which oof gosh yeah, we're losing a lot of tanks here. Uh, let's try and take out that Spiliot. No luck on that shot. We'll manoeuvre, try and get this flailing tree out of my screen. Apologies for the flashing imagery there. Uh, not a huge amount that I can do about that one. There we go, he's gone. Uh, we do have a second one. That's a tiger. Don't think we're going to penetrate that. Give it a try, but no, no luck on that one. Uh, let's spin this tree like a spinning top. And, uh, scream, 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 scream. Don't like it. I don't want that. Don't want anything to do with that. Uh, are we the only one left? No, but they're stationary. Okay. 
Uh, not by force, they could still move, they're just not. Uh, let's see if we can just charge down a Tiger too. you know? Just charge it down, just that simple. Don't worry about it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're dead. Okay, yep, that was predictable. Okay, these guys are stuck by force. These guys aren't, so we could move this one. <laughs> Ow. Uh, that's not gone great, to be entirely honest. Been shot. Um, never an ideal situation, uh, getting shot. But, uh, you know, it's nothing you can't live through uh, if you're in just the best tank. Obviously, this is just great. Ah, not that good. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. This tank is in need of a replacement. Um, yeah. I'm not going to retry this one. Uh, I've been recording for a very long time, and I do have my parents coming around. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please have a like, comment, and or subscribe if you want to. Um, and... As you should have seen at the start of the video, but if I completely forgot to put it in, I have a Discord. Link will be in the description if you want to join that. We just talk about things, and you can share your designs in there. Uh, it's not huge at the moment. I think we've got about 25 people in it at the moment, so you could be the 26th, or possibly, by the time you join, more than the 25th, 6th. God, I can't even... I'm not even thinking straight anymore. It's too hot in this room. I'm going to go off my computer and play on my Steam Deck, which I got, which is sick. Um, <laughs> humble brag on, on YouTube, as you do. Um, but anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye. <laughs>